What's up, church family? God bless y'all. Hope y'all had a good Christmas. Uh, it's two days after Christmas today. Uh, I didn't get to do my video last night, so I want to jump on here and uh, keep her going, you know? Keep the fire stoked. But we'll be in Luke chapter 2, verses 11 through 20. A Savior has just been born in David's town. A Savior who is Messiah and Master. This is what you're to look for. A baby wrapped in a blanket in a lying manger. At once, the angel was joined by a huge angelic choir singing God's praises. Glory to God in the heavenly heights. Peace to all men and women on earth who please Him. As the angel choir withdrew into heaven... The shepherds talked it over. Let's go over to Bethlehem as fast as we can and see for ourselves that God has revealed what God has revealed to us. They left running and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in the manger. Seeing was seeing was believing. The to, they told everyone they met what the angels had said about this child. All who heard her, all who heard the shepherds were impressed. Mary kept all these things to herself, holding them dear, deep within herself. The shepherds returned and let loose, glorifying and praising God for everything they had heard and seen. It turned out exactly the way they'd been told. Amen. Let's pray. Father God, thank you for you. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. But thank you for the beautiful church on the earth today. I want to thank you for uh, your kindness and your mercy. And uh, thank you for your adopting, adopting us into the kingdom and uh, through Jesus, making us your sons and daughters. Thank you for that. And uh, thank you for our families and our friends. And thank you for you guys, Dad. We love you. And help me say what I'm about to say. Be what you want me to say, not what I want to say. Hide me behind the cross while I do this. It's in Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. <clears throat> calling this one day two in forever and <clears throat> seeing how it's day two after christmas you know i just try to put myself back in that situation and, and, and really like put myself there and, and what what it would feel like or like um i remember planning for my wedding it was uh you know, the weeks leading up to it, it was a lot of scheduling and organizing and, and calling people and has a few preachers to pick from, you know, to do it, you know, and uh, it was just so much preparation leading up to this point, you know, it was uh, and then like four or five hours later, you know, the music was off, the food was gone and uh, everyone went home, it all, you know, the Music stopped and everyone went home. So um, I think of this, I, you know, I, I think of it because uh, I see a wedding preparation. It reminds me of Jesus' birth. And, uh, you know, cause within hours uh, Jesus of Jesus' birth, uh, the celebration was, was quickly settled down. So um, I, uh, you know, even all the way down to... You know, the angels went back to heaven. The angels that told the shepherds, you know, did their job and then went back to heaven. And then you got the shepherds went and went and told them, you know, what they'd seen, and then went and told others, and went back to the fields. And you know, the the dust the dust the dust had settled. You know, and um, I'm reminded of that today, as far as like day two, the dust has settled. You know. Like, where are we at in our mind and our heart after Christmas, you know what I mean? Are we still staying stoked? Are we still excited? Uh, of Remember the preparation up to that, you know? So, um, our, I guess what I'm saying is, and without, you know, I always say without, you know, you can't really truly understand Christmas unless you understand Easter, what happened on Easter, you know, Easter Sunday. Um, you can't understand the baby 
without understanding what the baby was here for and what he did and what he accomplished. So we don't, we don't really hear, um, you don't hear much of Jesus. You hear, you hear like two more times. You don't hear much of his birth or his childhood. You hear one more time when he's around two, the wise men came and gave their gifts. And then uh, at 12, we all remember, uh, you know, the census thing when he, uh, his mom and, you know, Mary and Joseph lost him for a few days. And, um, but we don't, and I, I don't think, I don't think that's by accident either. I think that's the good Lord and, and, and Father God and Holy Spirit really wanting us to focus more on his death and resurrection, you know, the finished works of the cross. And, uh, you know, that way we can really understand what happens after Christmas, you know what I mean? Because those, those you know, smiles and laughs and, and those excitements when we all get, get together on that day, that's, that's supposed to be every day. That's kingdom living right there. And that's when you're hugging on each other and just being forgiving and showing mercy and being kind and just, I mean, those are, those are kingdom principles, you know? So I, uh, <clears throat> I've noticed that cause I've, I've, no, I've noticed some people, people I know even, um, after Christmas, it's back to, back to secular world, back to just a day. You know what I mean? Um, I'm not trying to downplay his birth. I'm just, I, I guess what I'm trying to do is get you to the cross from this day, you know, and understand from this day to the cross and then everything after he done after the cross has given, it, has given us a heart and a mind and a spirit of joy of, of, you know, of Thanksgiving and to always feel like it's Christmas morning when we were kids and stuff, you know, I, just, I didn't know Jesus my whole life. So I just remember day before christmas though on presents and our family was coming over i haven't seen my cousins all year i haven't seen you know you get all them 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 gigglies them bubblies them like ooh. Uh, i'm here to tell you the kingdom when you step into the kingdom you feel that buzz every day so i encourage you to get there and uh get in on this you know because after he come out of the tomb uh it was we go further into luke Luke 24, we'll go Luke 24, 15. And this is right after the tomb. This is after Mary had just told the disciples he wasn't in his tomb. And so they're walking down a trail, the disciples are, and, and Jesus comes walking up beside him. Verse 24, 15, Luke 24, 15. In the middle of their talk and questions, Jesus came up. And walked along with them. And when he did that, they, they were shocked. I mean, they were just like, oh. and you know, he kind of got onto them right there. He's like, can y'all just not believe what the prophet said? I am him, you know, because, you know, nobody's ever seen a, a body come out of a tomb, you know, and nobody's ever seen this chapter of the Bible yet, you know. So I really do. I think God is trying to get us to focus more on the cross, more on the finished works why he was uh, even originally sent here you know what i mean and uh it's uh you can't because you, you you can't really because if you get on the on baby jesus i mean it's it's cute and cuddly and just you know um i'm not you know we're all babies and cute and cuddly but like he was literally that baby was sent here to die for us you know he was a lamb and in, in god's house and, and taken care of, well, well nourished, well loved, well, you know, unconditionally everything, you know, he's God's son and, and sent down here in human form to, to, to die for us. So, um, it's not so cute and cuddly, you know, at the end of the, at the end of the cross, it's because once you go check in and get your cross, you, you got a little bit of work to do. You got some repentance and deliverance and you've got to read your Bible and praise and pray and, 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 you know, it's time to get to work. It's time to start spreading the good news. It's time to start telling other people what Jesus just did, did for you. Because when you step into the kingdom truly and fully in your mind and heart, oh, it's just, there's no take backs, man. It's, it's just, you'll want it and crave it and it just won't go away, man. It's just, it's, it's all good. It's, it's just amazing. It's, 
so much glory that like he has to kind of like give it to us and you know what i mean like but as long as you stay with them give it to us in spurts you know what i mean as far as like what i'm saying is like if if god gave us all his glory at once our body would blow up you know so just how he each day kind of when we reach for him and we're, we're plugging in and we're in the kingdom and we're out here fighting and stuff just how he loves you how he sees you he sees his son when he sees you when you get saved and when you start getting you know start fighting and start picking your cross up he sees his son every time he sees you so and he couldn't have done that i mean i really do i don't think i don't i think we're supposed to focus more on after the cross because he is risen he ain't dead no more he beat death he's running around here uh healing stuff and in us uh you know we're little mini jesuses you know He's in, he's in each one of us down here. He's alive. And he's also running around doing his own thing. He can be in a lot of places at once. Actually, everywhere at once. So, with his dad and the Holy Spirit, and, and our dad and the Holy Spirit now, you know? So, um, like I said, I'm not trying to, uh, you know, Christmas is cute and, and it's, you know, but you really can't have that day without Easter. And you can't have Easter without Christmas. You know, you can't really understand, and you can't understand neither one of those unless you're reading your Bible. So, I encourage you to really get in your Bible and, and understand what's going on um, right now. And, and is this the actual day that Jesus, like, no, nobody knows that, but this is the day that we honored Christmas, and, and you know, two days ago, and that's the day we, we honored his birth, you know. Um, but the Bible goes on forever and ever. You know, everything that happened after his birth still happened after his birth. You know what I mean? So even though it don't line up with, with years later of dates and years and times and stuff, it still happened. And it's still it's still continuing to happen every day. The kingdom is here. Matthew 3, 2, repent for the kingdom is at hand. At hand, at hand means right here in my hand. I can use it. So if you ain't feeling that uh, two days after Christmas... Um, maybe you should ask yourself if, you know, you need to repent, confess, let some stuff go. Most of the time it's unforgiving. If you're holding any kind of beef or vendetta towards anybody in your mind or heart, just let it go, man. Let it go. You'll be turned, or you'll be turned over to the tormentor until you do let it go, you know? So I look at, you know, I don't, I don't play with the devil and stuff. I don't, but I, that's. God made him, and I mean, he's in a bad spot right now, but it's still, God can, can you know, God's got the key. I'm not saying, like, he, he didn't build hell for none of us, but if you want to walk in there, you know, it's your choice. He gave us Jesus as another choice. He gave us an exit door. So if you don't take that exit door, that's not on him no more. That's on you, bro. So I encourage you to um, read your Bible pray and uh praise man throw some music on and throw your hands up and thank him for stuff you know and 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 walk in this get up and walk in this man the kingdom is here it's we don't have to wait till we're 80 or 90 to enjoy the benefits of the kingdom today so i encourage you to peel the veil off your eyes and your ears and your mouth and sometimes we can't do that until we repent and come to the lord and, and start getting the ugly out of our heart and filling it up with him you hear me i love you guys man y'all stay pushing out there god bless each and one each and every one of y'all and new year's coming up man so y'all just stay safe and, and just remember uh to stay in the victory dance act like jesus just rolled up right beside you and said what's going on like he just did the disciples in luke 24 15 in the middle of their talk and questions, Jesus came up and walked along with them. Just pretend right now that Jesus just walked up into your life and said, What's up, buddy? But believe. Believe it. Take a faith. Take a leap of faith and believe. Just believe it. It's going to be too good. It's going to feel like it's too good to be true. And I challenge you to press even further and believe it. Oh, it is sometimes. It's Sometimes I got to convince myself self still that I am free of my heart. And I'm free of my mind. 
What a blessing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. I love you guys, man. Y'all stay up out there, man. Kingdom energy only. God bless y'all. Peace.